So what is free cash flow and how can we use it? And stick around until the end, because in the end, I'm going to give you a quick and easy way to calculate free cash flow. But even when we have that, it could be helpful to know what it is, where it comes from, and how we can use it. So let's start with what is free cash flow. Broadly speaking, free cash flow is defined as cash flow that is available to the firm's investors. This includes bond investors and stock investors. To illustrate, let's simply imagine that a company is nothing more than a way to process cash. Cash comes into the company in the form of revenue as it sells its products or services. The company then takes that cash and pays operating expenses for things like salaries. Next, the company makes short and long-term investments. Short-term investments include things like inventory and receivables. They call this working capital. While long-term investments would account for things like investments in their property, plant, or equipment, often called PP&E for short. What remains is the firm's free cash flow eligible to be paid out to the company's investors. Often, this is called free cash flow to the firm. Next, the company is obligated to take care of the bond investors, since bond investors are higher up the pecking order than stock investors. So with their free cash flow to the firm, they pay the interest they owe to the bondholders. They may also pay bond principal, or perhaps even borrow more money with new bonds if they choose. So after all bondholders are taken care of, what remains is known as free cash flow to equity. So free cash flow to equity is what remains for investors in the company's stock after funding working capital needs, fixed capital needs, and debt financing. Now this is not necessarily what the stock investors get. The board of directors still gets to decide that. The company can use that free cash flow to pay out dividends or perhaps do stock buybacks, or it could elect to keep that money internally for the company. So a potential investor can use free cash flow as a way to value a company and a company's stock in something called discounted cash flow valuation, often called DCF valuation for short. Basically, in a discounted cash flow analysis, we would project future free cash flow and then discount it back to today. Discounting means to account for the fact that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar next year. So I walked you through what free cash flow is and how it comes about. And there are many variations of the formula that allow for you to calculate free cash flow. But many times, analysts will simply take cash flow from operations, which you get from the cash flow statement, and subtract capital expenditures, which is also in the cash flow statement. And there you have it, a rough estimate of free cash flow. Now, this calculation would generally get you closest to free cash flow to the firm. So that is the basics of free cash flow and how you can use it. If you liked this video and found it informative, hit the thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.